President-elect Donald Trump, he's firing tweets, he's threatening tariffs. What does this mean potentially for car prices? How's it going to affect the consumer pocketbook going to the dealership? I think uh, there's been shackles on the U.S. economy for the last six years. If you told me that free money and cheap gas would lead to 2% GDP growth per year in the United States of America, I'd say that's impossible. So what's the explanation? Overregulation, a broken tax system, and uh, the middle class having been left behind. So I share investors' optimism that Trump is going to be a transformational figure for the economy. Could prices on cars go up if we have Mexican production and a big border tax that he's threatening? And that no one's been able to explain to me, including uh, uh, the House of Representatives or Donald Trump or anybody in the industry, how this is all going to work. I would say his tax plan is somewhat radical at this point. Um, they're either tariffs or border adjustment taxes or whatever you want to call them, but they're substantial. We don't have anything like them in the United States today. So we got a global production system with parts moving back and forth across borders uh, every day. And how it's all going to work, nobody knows. Don't we also have the California zero emission vehicle mandate that just forces all the auto manufacturers to build electric cars anyway? What, what can they do? Are they just going to have to churn out the electric cars anyway? And do we have a market for that? I don't see how Mr. Trump can change the mind of California, which is the lead state on that. So I think electrics are here to stay. What's interesting is most manufacturers have reached the point that it's more cost effective to produce themselves and to pay other manufacturers or Tesla for the credits. So electric fuels are here to stay and they're coming.